Yo, what's up, you little legends? It's your boy Dan, all that like Dan, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Today, I actually have a serious kind of topic. It's nothing along the lines of anything funny, no funny moments, no Minecraft gameplay. I know Minecraft is seen all the time on this channel, but this is the time when we need to take a seat. We need to go on a lovely little journey into the dark side of YouTube. So, here's where drama gets started. I just want to throw this straight out there. I'm not here to cause drama, I'm here to share the truth truth and my own personal experiences. Now what I want to firstly clarify is if you like any of these YouTubers in any particular way, shape or form, if you support their content, if you enjoy what they do, don't think that this video is here to stop you from watching their content. This is here for me to get my point across of my own personal experiences with these YouTubers. Now they may be different with other people, they may act different with their fans, but this is how they have personally acted towards me. Being someone who was once at their subscriber account and then being people who have overtaken me and then have just completely lost contact with me whatsoever. So there are going to be two to three YouTubers which I'm actually going to be calling out. Now one of them goes along the lines of having about 15k subscribers. Another person goes along the line of having a hundred thousand subscribers and then another YouTuber goes along the lines of having just recently hit 3,000 subscribers. And as you can see that their subscriber count is quite different to mine. Me being only on 1,800 subscribers and then being on well over 3,000 all the way up to 100,000 subscribers. So I think it's only fair that I start off with the one that bothers me the least. So we're going to start off with a YouTuber who personally watching his videos, I don't really mind to be honest. I actually watch some of his stuff and I actually enjoy some of his videos that he posts. So such as his pack opening videos I highly enjoy. However, it's got to the point where it was quite a while back which I just never really bring it up because it didn't bother me up until now. Now this YouTuber goes by the name of of its morgues or morgues or however you want to address him. He literally recently hit 100,000 subscribers about two or three days ago. Now this goes back quite a while when I made him an intro. Now this was back in January to February of this year so quite a while back about three or four months back. So what happened was I created him an intro. He said it looked really nice. He used it. He used it in his video and I was very happy about that. That was exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to make him an intro. I wanted him to enjoy it. I wanted him to appreciate the fact of his fans were making him something. I didn't want any credit for it. I wasn't bothered in the slightest if he wanted me to credit me or not. That's not something which I'm going to bring up in this video because that has nothing to do with what I'm talking about. After that, I wanted to have a general conversation with him, just, you know, a YouTuber to YouTuber, just generally having a conversation with him. Now, when I went to do that, he would just completely ignore every single message which I wanted to show. Now, I would have these messages on the screen now, but unfortunately, if I put on the screen now, you will see that my Twitter messages only go down to April the 25th. Now, I don't know if that's a bug within Twitter or whether it's a fact of Twitter deletes messages after a certain amount of time. If it's a fact of it deletes messages after a certain amount of time, then that can be quite understandable. I wasn't really prepared on making this video, so I don't really have the screenshots for that. However, other things which I do talk about later on in the video, I do have screenshots for. So after when he stopped messaging me, basically I saw that he had a merchandise. So basically I just wanted to message him and let him know that I was going to buy one of his merchandise because the fact of some of his t-shirts do look very well presented, very professional and something which I'd like to wear. So after I messaged him, so basically he replied to me within the next 30 seconds basically saying, oh my god, thank you so much, really appreciate it. And I was like, you know what, no bother. But the fact is, the only way I could get this dude's attention was bringing in the concept of him receiving money from me. He wasn't interested in having a general conversation, you know, man to man, YouTuber to YouTuber, person to person, however you want to call it. The only way I could actually get his attention was by saying that I would buy something from him. The only way I could have a general conversation with this dude was by saying that I would spend money to get something from him. Now, a lot of you might think, well, that's not that bad. He actually replied to you. You know, he's a very big YouTuber. At the time, he had about 10 to 20k. I can't really remember because he's been grown so rapidly, but it's a fact of as well. He completely ignored the message which I sent to him. So, you know, he replied when I mentioned that I would buy something from him. However, after that, he just completely ignored my messages. So that's where it starts off very, very minimal. You know, there's nothing really to worry about. Not really any harms being caused, no spam is being involved at the moment. 
So you can kind of see where this is leading to, and you can kind of tell where I'm heading in this kind of direction. So, you know, one thing which I quickly want to clarify, I don't want any hate going towards any of these YouTubers. I'm just stating my opinion, my own personal experiences, which I've had with these specific YouTubers. So the next person which I'm going to talk about is someone who has 3K subscribers and goes by the name of King Sizzle City. Now, I really didn't want to make a video about him. However, it's got to the point of he was a brilliant YouTuber. I really liked the content he did. And then he went and turned into just some really just bad youtuber like he just genuinely really annoys me with the actions he's took when he used to talk with me so i used to talk from just have general conversations we just talk about youtube in general i've got the skype conversations scrolling through on the screen now basically i asked him if he could make me a few thumbnails i did bring in the concept of being able to pay him and he was just like you know what you don't have to pay me you know just being a genuinely a nice person you don't have to pay me for the work i'm doing which i was very appreciative for you know i would have been willing to spend money on them because because, you know he's taking time out of his day to actually make me something so further down the line he makes me the thumbnails he sends me them I really like them you know I ask him for help just you know for editing them because I'm kind of a Photoshop noob later on down the line a few days later actually I message him asking him if he could help me on making another thumbnail now this was for my I believe it was for my gladiators thumbnails so basically I wanted it yellow sort of along the theme of the red survival games and the green sky wars now basically what he done was he kind of stopped messaging me and I was just like oh well it might just be a bit miscommunication he might not know that I'm actually sending messages then one day I actually got in touch with him and I sent him a message he gave me a one word answer sent him another message gave me a one word answer as you can see that leave will be on the screen now or it will have already scrolled past it so pay attention on the screen that's where all the evidence is if you would like to see it and I would also put all of the images down in the description below if you do want to go and check them all out then afterwards I basically messaged him again on the topic of making me a thumbnail now bear in mind he could have easily charged me for that and I would have been perfectly happy with that because I don't mind paying someone for working hard on doing thumbnails for me that's the kind of person I am I'll just pay for GFX if I need to if I need to do something for my channel I'll pay for GFX I will do it that's just what I'll do so after sending the message you can probably tell that he just ignored me and then went on to his daily day and I was just like well you know what if that's what he wants to do if that's how he wants to act then he can go and do that I really don't care I'll just try and find someone else to do thumbnails for us but then afterwards is where the spam comes so basically what he done was he ended up sending me links to his videos now it wasn't just one video you know for a special occasion you know please do go and check this video out go and show him some love he would literally blank every single message I would try and send to him on the topic of thumbnails or even if I tried to say hi to him however even though he knew he was blanking my messages he would continuously spam video links towards me now I kind of find that a bit disrespectful the fact of he's literally just ignoring me and just thinking oh you know what I can just send video links to him that's perfectly fine no no, that's just spam don't spam people you know I was only there because I li sometimes I messaged him because I genuinely wanted to just talk to him person to person because he was genuinely a really nice person to talk to and I really enjoyed working with him with GFX and I just enjoyed talking to him in general as a person so yeah that's basically how it went with him you know these two first people which I've mentioned aren't really too bad but it kind of just shows what YouTube does to you it just shows that the more you advance and the less other people grow around you who you're working with it just shows the more irrelevant they become so in my eyes the way i see it is with them getting success what i see it in my eyes is oh well you're not getting as much success as us you're not growing as much so what we're going to do is we're going to completely ignore you we're going to throw you out of our life and all we're going to focus on is getting more subscribers and getting more money that's the way i see it in my eyes you guys may see it differently but that's how I see it in my eyes. So, like I've said, I don't want to send any hate towards these YouTubers. This is just experiences with me. They may act completely different with you guys. I'm just saying this because I don't want to make this video seem like I'm trying to drive hate towards their channel. And I also want to say that because they're bigger YouTubers, I'm not trying to get attention or feed off any of you guys. Because honestly, that's the thing I don't want. I don't want my channel being destroyed or anything by hate. I literally just want to get my point across let everyone know where I'm coming from so you guys can understand what I'm even talking about in the first place. So the final person who I want to talk about is someone who genuinely makes me want to actually punch him. Now that's where it gets to the point of I actually hate him and a lot of people will know this from my stream because I was literally calling him out on my stream 
because he is that bad of a YouTuber in the way that he tries to get views on his videos. So this person goes by a name of HD Gamers. So the way that this started with this person was I added him on Skype because I was going to edit him an intro. Now as a lot of you know I don't make intros, I get them off the internet and I basically edit them and I just give them to people who I think just need a better intro. So I basically made him one, sent him it over and we basically just got talking and I thought he was genuinely a really down to earth person, a really good YouTuber to talk to. We were just talking about how, how each other were, you know, how our channels were going and you know, everything was pretty good to be honest. Now, after that it advanced to us sending each other links and a lot of you will know I was in a lot of Skype group chats where basically you send a video link, you ask people to like, comment on it, say something nice about the video, you send a link back and you know, they'll return on your video, it's a good way of getting likes, comments, it's a good way of advancing your channel if, you, if you're lacking in views and you're lacking in comments, all of that kind of stuff. After that, we started doing that on private messages to each other and it kind of got to the point where I was asking him general questions, by the way, this is all on the screen guys, but I was asking him general questions such as, you know, how are you doing, you know, and I mentioned, was he going to use the intro? And he responded with yes, and you know, everything was just pretty cool. But then he started spamming even more links in the chat. Now it was getting to the point where he was putting them too many and you could just tell that half of his messages were just copy and pasted. He would send me a video link and after about 5 seconds he would literally just beg me going, have you done? You know, have you subscribed to me? Have you liked? Have you commented? And I was just like, dude, please just shut the fuck up. If I want to go and like your video, if I want to go and comment on it, then I will. And a lot of you guys will just be like, well, why didn't you just unfriend him? You know, to be honest, I really don't know. I really couldn't be bothered with him. That's why I've made a brand new account. And that's why I just don't talk to anyone like that. Because it still gets to the point where he feels the need to spam video links to me. And to be honest, a lot of you might think, well, that's not even bad. But it was the fact of... When he was spamming me links, I was messaging him back because I was actually one of them people, I would like this video, I would comment and I would send a link back. He would do the same thing, he would return on my videos, but it's a fact of after that, I would I would send him like a general message like, you know, hey, how you doing, all of that kind of stuff. And he would completely just ignore that message, send me more video links and beg me to like his videos once again. And I just think, once again, that's just disrespectful, you know. I wanted someone to talk to, someone to be friends with, and that dude just completely throws it out the window. He's just like, you know what, I'm going to keep spamming video links to this dude. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised if half of the likes and half of the ratings on his videos are from people on Skype. God knows how many contacts he has and the amount of people he spams. With the evidence on the screen, you will see he spammed me a hell of a lot. And if he spams me a hell of a lot, God knows how much he spams other YouTubers. So that about wraps it up for my video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to leave it a thumbs up. If you thought that any of the stuff I said in this video was wrong, and I should just go and crawl in the hole and die, then feel free to dislike the video. I really don't mind. I appreciate everyone's opinions. Everyone has their own opinions. So leave more down in the comment section below. And any of you YouTubers, Morgs, King SSLC, or HD Gamers, if you do see this, go ahead, go and send some hate along my way. I really don't care, it's completely up to you guys. But like I said, anyone who is a fan of me, please don't go and send hate towards these YouTubers. I don't want anyone to go and dislike bot these. I don't want anyone to go and genuinely just hate on their content because that's just, that's just playing the bad person. I don't want any one of my fans doing that. So I'll catch you guys in my next video. Remember in the description there's going to be all of the links to all of the images I have used in this video and all of the video clips I have used in my Skype conversations. I will catch you guys in the next one. See you guys later, have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video.